All right, guys, so I have the supercharger ready here, all the coils disabled, and the opto switches are currently closed. Anytime uh, the opto transmitter to receiver line of sight gets broken, like with a screwdriver, for example, you'll see that it turns open. There, there, and there. So, obviously, the beam between the transmitter and the receiver for all three optos is working. Doesn't necessarily mean they don't need to be clean, though, or that the solder joints don't need to be uh, resoldered or the or the cold solder joints need to be addressed there might be some there and the reason I say that is you'll see here all right so enabled so in theory if I'm following this correctly with coil one enabled opto switch one two and three should all uh, engage at least that's my train of thought we showed that because all three coils were just disabled and all three opto switches said open when we put the screwdriver in front of each transmitter beam so with just this one enabled, these all should still read open, open, open as they go across as the ball goes across the supercharger. And as you can see there, that is not happening. Now my train of thought behind this theory could be wrong. But something tells me that that's not right. We'll enable the second one. See, only the first opto. Okay, the second opto just briefly got it. Oh boy, very hit and miss there. You see opto one uh, triggers pretty regularly, but two and three are very sporadic. See that? Oh, that's, a, that's just abysmal. We'll have both of them enabled now. All right, now just the third one enabled. Gotta get it up there. Okay, so as you can see, the optos are triggering, but they're very sluggish. They're, it's just, ugh. See, one always seems to trigger. One almost always triggers. But look how slow that ball is going through there and not triggering. I mean, that's just, ugh. It's not inspiring me with a boat of confidence. Come on, come on. Get out of there. There we go. All right, with all three. See, to me, if I'm thinking about this correctly, all three of those optos should be opening and closing at all times. And as you can clearly see on the DMD, they're a bit sporadic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the whole supercharger out of here. I'm already going here to replace the cliffy or to uh, put a cliffy in the ball scoop anyways. So there's no skin off my back to do this. I'm going to take this whole assembly out while I'm in there changing the cliffy. And we're going to do a little investigation see what we can find. See you in the next video.